at kailangan natin sumunod dahil talagang kinausap na tayo kanina bago pa man tayo pumasok dito so dito tayo kung saan tayo nakatayo dito tayo
pa kanina. Tama ba yun yung sa ganitong ano, magkagulo ba? Diyos ko. Ayan po, so nakuha na natin yung kanina yung mga nag, nag, nagkakagulo doon kanina.
tinta dito. Isa lang. Yung isang puesto roon, ilalaan namin sa kanya si Underground Bookstore kasi uh, namingi siya ng mga estudyante. And, and uh, gusto lang namin paalam sa inyo na uh, he is the only space na allowed na magtinda rito. Pero kasi, ginawa naman natin yung old, yung old space niya, ginais natin, renovate natin para mas maliwanas for him to do business. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we know that already that Loton, uh, uh, Loton, Recto, from Asuncion to Abad Santos, Manigociable, Soler, Manduna, uh, uh, sa Maytiapo area, uh, and Dreaming Creek, Pass, Pinaw, in lahat ng nilinis natin na negosyabol, na negosyabol. Yeah. So, including so, this. And hopefully, hopefully, may awang Diyos, pupunta naman tayo sa kabilang uh, underpass. Yun naman ang tinatawag natin, Loton Underpass. Ito, City Hall Underpass. Kaya lang, mas madali siyang pinangalanan ng tao na lagos nila underpass. Sir, so, maliban sa November policy, how will you maintain na ganito yung itsura ng underpass? May awang Diyos, uh, so far, I'm grateful to our uh, co-workers in the city, uh, in this case, DPS and Engineering, na lahat ng nililinis natin for the past one year and so are uh, nananatiling malinis. Babantayan na, sir. Meron itong mga CCTV. Kaya yung mga palonggis, uh, may, pagkakalag, may pagkakalagyan kayo dito. Oh, well, ganito yun, no? This is for you. And every people that will going to use the underpass, has, one way or another, has responsibility to be vigilant. Kung baga, tulong-tulong tayo. While uh, iso namin proteksyonan, pangangalagaan namin, we're going to do our part. But hopefully, people also will be vigilant enough to, to protect what is there. Kung baga, uh, sa inyo ito, sa mamamayan ito. Sa atin lahat ito. So, ilang artists ang nag-participate? Dami, ano? Tatlo, tatlo. Aning halos na mga bata. UST, katulong din namin, FEU, tapos yung binigay ng NXCP, saka ng intramuros administration. Sir, mamamamusta lang ako kung sa free wifi and free laptops niyo sa mga taga Manila. Kamusta na po? Awan ng Diyos, distribution today. Ilang, ilang units po yun? Today, uh, we will uh, have our uh, 
ceremonial turnover of the laptops, tablets, and Wi-Fi connectivity to the Division of City School headed by Dr. Magdalene Lee. So, every day, mag-deliver na sa kanila. So, entrega natin sa DCS. And DCS, sila kakausap sa mga principal. Principal, sila kakausap sa mga teacher. Teacher, katulong ng barangay. Distribution na. So, so far, we're on time. So far, we're on track. And hopefully, by October 5, ay baba na siya lang. Sir, pag naubos po yung monthly allocation ng Wi-Fi, pwede yung uh, sasagutin niyo ng teacher or ng student? That's 10 gig. 10 gig is more than enough. Kung sa eskwelahan mo lang gagamitin. With all honesty. Kung hindi mo siya gagamitin siya ng tagay, uh, wala ka ng cost gas on one. Sir, magkano nga yung ano, um, budget ni mo ng Manila. 1 billion 64 million from 900 uh, naging 1 billion 64 million tapos nagdagdag pa tayo ng uh, almost 130 or 150 million kasi kung maalala ninyo marami lumipat from private to public siyempre uh, as a believer of education Education can be made available to everybody as much as possible free. In this case, pero uh, kami nagdagdagan ng mga 25,000 na, na estudyante na transferi from private school. Uh, Siyempre, hirap ng buhay. So, we try to accommodate them. So, we reappropriated again about two weeks ago. At the same time, uh, bumili rin kami ng additional na SIM card and additional bandwidth. So, yung naunang batch, kung ano yung makukuha nila, yung second batch, hindi na makukuha nila. Same, same. Yung engineering, yung engineering. Yung engineering, hanap wala tayong batch dito, kasi yung private sector, except yung national government resources. So, makikita mo, it's a collaboration between private sector, city government, and National Government Agency headed by DOT under DOT there is uh, Intramuros Administration uh, parts, uh, National Parks yung NHCP tapos yung ating uh, uh, museum Yan. yung mga partner natin uh, naglilinis din sila nagigilaw din sila so, para nagkaroon ng uh, synchrony and action no? really Kapag bumalik na tayo sa normal, marami ng pasyalan. Ano yung protocol sa nadaraan dito ngayon? Oo, dadaan ang mga nangyong Ingat ka. Okay. Ano ba? 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 Ano but anybody can pass it, this is a public underpass. Ano na lang, ako na lang, may tulad ng pati-usap ko dati, tayo nagahanap ng patinuan sa gobyerno. Tayo nagahanap ng mga programa ng gobyerno na tangible na pakikinabangan ng tao. Here we are today, an unders underpass, undisturbed, no obstruction unlike before, malinis, maliwalas, gamitin nila ng tama, at sana protection na nila. Ngayon, kung sa kaliman, uh, artistic sila, sana huwag na lula dito dalhin yung pagiging artistic nila. Bring it somewhere else, not in Manila. Yun lang naman ang pakiusap ko, this is for the people. This is for you guys. This is for your children. They deserve it. Everybody deserves better things from their government. Ito yung naalay namin sa inyo. Sir, last na from me. May update na po from the NBI dun sa pinaiinvestigahan yung Ngayon, Manila na province na of China. Ang good news, uh, I think uh, NBI director was interviewed and is into it. So, but officially, patanggap 
But uh, I heard that uh, two days ago, uh, we made a commitment. If there is a legal uh, liability or criminal liability on the part of the two, two Chinese nationals, they should be out of the country. They have no place in Manila. They are not welcome here, with all honesty. I don't want them to, to be forgiven on that matter. This is a gross violation and intentionally hurtful to every Filipino. So you're talking about the province of China. Yes. You cannot be forgiven. Yes. Look at this. This is the symbol of who and what we should do as Filipino. Picture, painting, and characters in the wall is our forefathers. At sila ang nagsakripisyo ng kanilang buhay para sa tinatamasan natin ngayon na sinasabing malayang bansa. We owe it to them. We owe it to ourselves. We owe it for the next generation. So, it just so happened that they did it in Manila and the mayor. It's unforgivable. It's beyond comprehension. And I will not ever, ever tolerate it. Habang nagbabaga pa lang, buhusa mo na ng tubig. Sa kapag nag-clear na, hindi na naman natin makasakul yan. And there is time in our own little way, in our own little way, we'll do our job to protect the sovereignty and the city of Manila and to top it all, the people of Manila, every Manila. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor.